Seca. Yo, British Seca, you brought me coffee today? Oh, man. Actually, it's tea. Mother. Well, my quandary for the day is I was wondering about other characters in the game I could use to support my Zhao. Oh. And to be honest, I've tried so many characters because I'm free to play. So bitter. And I was wondering just a little bit about who the best character is that I should be using to support my Zhao. It's not green tea. And I came across this character, Jean, in my inventory that I've never built. This black Irish. Is Jean any good to build? Ah. Yeah, she's the Yeet Master 9000. Ah, I see. Yo, what's going on guys? Sekapako here, bringing you another Genshin Impact video of this. Saka, is she better physical or animal or support? That's not an answer. I'm gonna talk about why I like this build in particular for Jean versus other builds, and we're going into the builds. <laughs> Got him. Okay. So for this showcase, I'm going to be going over two different builds that I did for Jean. Now, the first build, which you're seeing right here, is going to be the Animo style build that I'm going to be using for Jean. And the second one that you're seeing right now, which is going to be the physical style build for Jean, um, where I'm using two different types of builds for her. I, uh, my personal favorite is the Animo style build, and I'll be going over why I like that better first. Um, and we're going into the physical build to show it off uh, so you understand it. First off, my arts for physical gene. Uh, I'm currently using um, a full physical, I'm using my sa same set that I'm using my official, it has 57% crit rate as well as 148 crit damage. And it has a very large amount of overall uh, damage to the kit with an 80% bump on fizz. But I'm only using it with level six talents because I want to keep this you know, linear all the way through. Uh, I did find that by using it with this specific team that I'm, you're seeing here with Ganyu, Beidou, and Fischl, I'm able to get a large amount of damage. Um, sorry, Ganyu, Beidou, and Bennett. A large amount of damage on the field and get um, a huge huge hits in. Now, I'm using these really, really heavy supports to show off to Gene because I want to show to see all the other things he can keep for damage. And I'm also using a Skyward Sword in order to get the extra Fizz hits in. I don't have an Aquila Favonia, so I can't use that. As far as for Fizz Gene on an open world, I do find it to be okay. It does pretty decent, and if I did level my normals past level 6, I'd probably see a lot more damage on her. But in overall, honestly, I don't like Gene on a physical style build. I probably won't ever main her, and I don't find her to be a valuable main. But she can be okay. The reason I wanted to build Jean in the first place though, and the main reason I want Jean and I, I built out Jean is so I could have a healer for my team so I could really try a different strategy and a different approach with different builds. The first team that I see here, I'm using it with Zhao and then with Zhao as well as Albedo Zhongli, I can use this for four or five star squad in order to get myself reduction on animal resistance as well as have a healer and a character that's also providing me a good amount of energy recharge on a second animal character. I also have a healer on the team because of Jean being an animal healer. And she's the only animal healer I can actually use because she's the only one in the game that anyone can use for healer. And because she's an animal healer, I can keep my Zhao HPs high as well as keep uh, my Zhongli ability to lower resistances and get an albedo proc on everything else. So I'm not getting any swirl mechanics on this, but it doesn't really seem to matter because I do get a large amount of damage either way and it does pretty good team is also extremely safe because he also provides a lot of tankiness as well okay so for this i'm going to be using a official main dps and the reason i'm using official main dps here is i wanted to showcase a superconduct style animo team where i can use superconduct to lower electro resistance on enemies and lower prior resistance by using animal character i did this previously with sucrose but i wanted to try it out with gene because i'm able to get a little bit more swirls in with the mechanics from gene from her ultimate and get the iridescent viriner set in order to provide damage with a decent amount overall kit i think this is going to be a better way to go the thing that you really get out of this team is you are able to lower two different types of resistances while also having a healer. What I mean by that is that when you use a Viridescent Viridescent set, you're able to lower resistances of whatever element is swirled in the in the swirl by 40%. This is going to boost your overall damage in a significant way because now you, the element that is infused can actually do a lot more damage and that's up to 40% more. And because you're doing that consistently, you get to see bigger hits and able to use um, electro style characters a lot more effectively and get more damage in. Uh, this is also really good for cryo characters that are paired with those electro characters that want to use a superconductor style build. 
Now, many players want to build out their Kaching or potentially build out their Fischl or a Razor out for main DPS. And what I find this to be is actually the best possible team that you can use with a physical damage based team. The reason I find this to be the best possible team that you can use is because you get healing, you get uh, Viridescent to lower out the um, elemental resistances for both Cryo and Electro to maximize that style of damage. You also get Superconduct to lower the amount of damage on there, and you get an ultimate charge that goes really, really fast because you're able to use two Electro characters there to get Electro Resonance to bring up the overall energy gain that you get from your team. Now this will provide a super amount of damage for a, a carry team that really utilizes um, a physical carry that is either physical or electro. So if you wanted to build out a physical team for say Rosaria, you would just basically take that as a main DPS place and, and, and official, in, instead of official, you'd be using Ganyu. Um, instead of Ganyu, you'd be using Rosaria there. And instead of official, you would use say Razor or you would, instead of official place, you could use uh, Kachin. Now, of course, if you don't have Beidou and you don't want to build her out, of course, you can then use that is an interchangeable part to bring that out with your main DPS. Now, Ganyu, of course, is not needed here. She just provides a large amount of cryo particles and cryo on the field to give you an overall large amount of damage. And of course, again, as I mentioned, Rosaria would be a fine replacement to use in this style of team composition. Now, Jean, of course, what I did try to use her previously with a character like Sucrose did provide a decent amount of damage. But the issue that I found, of course, is that if I got hit at all, I would be very, very low at HP and not have any way of healing. And the only way I had to heal was by using Fischl's Bird to heal. So by using Gene on this team, I get a decent amount of energy gain back while also providing a cleanse. And this will help you a large amount of the time when you're on floor 11. Now you'll notice every time the electro thing comes out or kind of the wave comes out, I'm using an, uh, the animo ability to then uh, apply a cleanse to my entire team that gives me um, an infusion of animo. This will swirl off the electro effect or the, hot, the whatever effect that is on your character so that you can actually uh, not lose energy over time. And this does help you out significantly in Floor 11 because the mechanic that is around, that comes around is an energy sapping mechanic. So that's why I find Jean to be a very good character. Now, I've, I've also tried Jean with a Maiden set and I find that the healing is unnecessary. Now, with Jean, at talent level 6, you're able to get, with about 1750 attack, a total of about an 8600 heal on your ultimate. And each ultimate tick after that is going to heal for approximately about 1000 healing. So you're getting a decent tick every second, while also getting a big burst heal in the mix. And since you're an Animo character, it's really easy for you to get particles in there and get large energy gains back. So I know a lot of people wanted to build Gene as a main DPS, but I find that you don't even need to use Gene as a main DPS for a lot of teams because by using her as a healer, but with a Viridescent set, you get a big surge in damage as a sub DPS while also lowering the resistances of any team boost your DPS and get the same healer that you really wanted. Seeing how an Animo set is really based around getting a large amount of crit chance and crit damage and attack values, you of course will have more damage to get yourself more healing, but not nearly as much as you would with the Maiden set. And I find this to be a really powerful Powerful strategy for many players to use in the game. So if you are looking to build out for Fizz, this is definitely the way I would go in order to boost your damage. Okay, so for four star weapon alternates, the first weapon you can have used is of course the Sacrificial Sword. I find this to be an awesome weapon for Jean because the way I'm gonna be using my Jean going forward is a support for my Zhao. And the reason I, I wanna use her for my support for my Zhao, as I said previously in another video, uh, is because I wanted to use her as a battery style character in order to boost my damage. Now, if I ever end up getting Constellation 2 for Jean, I can actually uh, increase the movement speed and attack speed uh, attack on my team and give myself a little bit more damage, which would be very fun to play around with for a character like Zhao. If I ever get Constellation 4, it would be even crazier for other boosts that I can do for a team. But for, for a Sacrificial Sword, what I can get is a large amount of energy gain back while also providing my, uh, my Zhao good amounts of energy particles if I ever do want to switch to him very quickly. This also provides a decent amount of healing because I'm able to get my ultimate up very quickly. An alternate for that, of course, would be a Favonia Sword, which you will see the exact same damage values on because it does have the same base attack, and there is no difference between the overall damage that you'll see between the two weapons. The last alternate that you can use, of course, is the Festering Desire. And the Festering Desire, I find this to be a great weapon for Jean because as a sub DPS character for Gene, you can get a large amount of damage while also giving your team energy recharge and doing damage with the E in a large fashion. The ultimate ability does feel somewhat powerful at times, even at talent level six, and you can get some decent damage in there, but it really is gonna depend on what kind of damage you really wanna focus on. 
Um, I personally want to focus on my Zhao's damage, my main DPS damage, and I don't want to focus on my sub DPS damage. So I'm going to be focused more heavily on not auto attacking on Jean and getting my E in more often so I get more energy particles, my ultimate up more often, and set, be able to transition between characters more quickly. One of the fun things I found with Jean, of course, is that you can use Jean in a very, very meme lord fashion. And the best thing about Jean is that you can actually launch enemies in the air, let them fly down, and make them take fall damage. And the fall damage is going to be based on the enemy enemy's total amount of HP and if you do want, and as well as the height that they take from the fall damage it's kind of very very similar to the way plunge damage works you can use this to of course bang enemies against walls and there's ways you can manipulate Jean in order to actually uh, hit the ground a few different times with characters in order to get the fall damage to proc but um, I haven't mastered this because I've only played Jean for probably about three or four hours the last way I can use Jean, of course, is in a vaporized comp when I'm actually trying to boost out the damage uh, with that. And of course, Sucrose is going to be the best possible option here. She won't get, I won't get nearly as much damage as I will with Sucrose. But if you did want to do it to just use a quick vaporize and have a healer to back you up along with it, it is a decent option, but it's probably not my favorite option as far as damage DP, uh, options go. Well, all right, guys, my name is Sega Poco. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.